Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Introduction to Libraries with CMake. In this episode we're going to talk about single configuration generators and multi configuration generators. What are they and why should we care? Okay, on my desktop you'll see I have the source code from the previous episode. Today I'd like to start from scratch, so let's go ahead and delete the build directory. And I'm going to open up the CMake GUI. And we'll point the GUI at our source code folder. In the bottom field, we'll type forward slash build, forward slash GCC, forward slash debug. GCC being the compiler we're going to use, and debug being the build configuration. Okay, so configure, and I'm going to use CodeBlocks MinGW Makefiles Generator. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to snap that over to one side. And I'm going to create another build system for Microsoft Visual Studio. So we'll open up another instance of the CMake GUI. Snap that to one side. And instead of build GCC debug, we're going to say build MSVS. And of course, we're going to select Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, on the left, we have a CodeBlocks project. Uh, CodeBlocks is a single configuration generator. And on the right, we have Microsoft Visual Studio, which is a multi configuration generator. So I just want to point out some of the differences. So if you go over here to the CodeBlocks project, you'll see there is a CMake build type variable. But if you go to Microsoft Visual Studio, you'll see there is a CMake configuration types variable. CMake configuration types is set equal to a list of build configurations, while CMake build type is set to a single build configuration. In this case, we want it to be debug. So let's go ahead and generate these two projects. In Microsoft Visual Studio, we have this drop down list of build configurations. So we can build a debug version of our library. Or we can switch to a release version of our library and rebuild. We can do the same for the other build configurations. As you can see, Microsoft Visual Studio was able to generate both a debug and a release build. Now let's run our CodeBlocks project. You'll notice CodeBlocks doesn't allow us to change build configurations. So we can only compile the build configuration that we set CMake build type to when we generated our project. Okay, so hopefully you understand a little bit about the differences between single configuration generators and multi configuration generators. Next, we're going to write a little bit of code.
Our task is going to be to write code to validate CMake build type. So here's the problem. If we open up the CMake GUI, I'm going to switch to the code blocks build. Right now, CMake build type is set equal to debug, but what if I put in a bunch of nonsense? Like this. Let's try building our project. As you can see, everything builds just fine, but what is our build type? It's undefined. We don't know what our build type is. So now we're going to write some code to validate CMake build type. Multi-configuration generators don't use CMake build type, so we'll need to make sure that we're using a single configuration generator. The CMake configuration types variable is set to a list of build types when you're using a multi-configuration generator and is undefined if you're using a single configuration generator. So the if statement will evaluate to true if you're using a multi-configuration generator and false if you're using a single configuration generator. I want the opposite behavior so I'm going to use the not parameter. Before we continue let's create a list of valid build types. We'll use the list command with the find option to find a value in the valid build types list we just created. The value we're going to look for is whatever is currently in CMake build type. and we'll put the result in a variable named index. If index was set equal to negative 1, then the value wasn't found in the list. If the value wasn't found, then we'll output an error message. A fatal error message will stop the build. So let's save that and rebuild our project.
you'll notice we get an error. The reason we get an error is because the default value for CMake build type is an empty string, which is not a valid build type. So what we're going to do next is set CMake build type to a default value of release. So here we make sure that we're using a single configuration generator. Here we check to see if CMake build type is equal to an empty string. If it is, we use the set command to set the CMake build type variable to release. CMake build type is a cache variable. The data type determines which widget will be used to display our variable in the CMake GUI. This is just the doc string and is displayed in the CMake GUI when you hover over the variable. By default, the set command will create the CMake build type variable if one doesn't already exist. If one does exist, it will do nothing. The force option tells CMake to update the variable regardless. Let's try rebuilding our project. So now everything seems to be working and CMake build type is set to the default value of release. Before we end the episode, I just want to show you how to display your build configurations as a drop down list in the CMake GUI. So let's go back to the code. We're going to start by making sure we're using a single configuration generator. And we're going to check to make sure a CMake build type is defined. Now we're going to set the CMake build type strings property with the set property command. Okay, let's save this and rebuild our project.
As you can see, we now have a drop down list of build configurations. Our final task is to push our code to the online repository. Okay, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to talk about binding packages. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.